Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy Collects. This is Highway to Hell, and we are talking about Ghost Rider, specifically Danny Ketch. Um, so obviously in the last episode, I went over a second year worth of my collection, and there are still five more years to go, four or five more years to go, but each stack I think from now on is going to get like the next two will be big, but then after that, it's going to die down. So the videos won't be as long, uh, including this one. This one is I want to do on the side because this more or less sets up the book that's coming out in two days from now. When I uh, as from filming this, it's Monday right now, um, September 30th. But on October 2nd, on Wednesday, 2019, we're going to release the Ghost Rider number one. Beware the Ghost Rider number one uh, by Ed Breeson, which returns the character of Dan Ketch to the comics as Ghost Rider, which is amazing. I, I honestly never thought I would see this day. I remember when Jason Aaron brought Dan Ketch back, and we'll talk about that later on in the collection videos, but he brought him back as like a Ghost Rider from Heaven and uh, to fight Johnny Blaze uh, after they brought Johnny Blaze back. Because basically the reason Dan Ketch went away was sales dropped on the book, so and interest in the character, I guess, faded uh, in the late 90s. So they tucked him aside, put him away, and then uh, Howard Mackey came back and wrote one issue of Spider-Man and did one last send-off to Dan Ketch, which I thought was really awesome. It's a great issue, and we'll talk about it when we get there. Uh, but then, you know, he disappeared, and the movie started to come out, the Nick Cage movies. And so they wanted, Marvel wanted Johnny Blaze back in as Ghost Rider. So they came up with this storyline where Johnny Blaze comes back. And during that time period, I was not a fan. <laughs> I wasn't really digging. I mean, Damnation and some of those other books were, they're fine for what they are, but... They didn't really make me like Johnny Blaze too much or, or making me like him over Dan Ketch. I was like, why don't you just bring Dan Ketch back? He was awesome. Uh, so I never thought I'd ever see Dan Ketch again. And then when he came back as the Ghost Rider of Heaven, I was like, oh, okay, I'll take what I can get, you know, whatever. Um, and they did that Addict miniseries. And I was like, okay, this is cool. I'm, I'm digging it. But then he went away again. And I was like, okay. And they brought in like Robbie Reyes and Alejandra. And I was like, cool. They're moving on. That's fine. I'll move on to. And I completely put Dan Ketch out of my mind, but I still love the character so much that I went back and helped, you know, myself fill in the collection that I never completed of his original run, which was like, you know, 90 something issues, uh, 93 issues, I think. Um, so I went back and was like, all right, let's finish this collection. And then I went beyond that and started buying all of his appearances. And so because of that, that leads us here. I heard Dan Ketch was coming back in Marvel Comics Presents, which is the latest incarnation of this book, which is great because he had a, a nice run during the original Marvel Comics Presents in the late 80s or mostly the early 90s. So uh, I was excited and I put this on my pull list when issue one came out and I was like, okay, cool. I'll just keep buying the book because there's a Wolverine story in there. I'll at least keep buying it until issue six comes out. Then I end up hating the book. I like the Wolverine story wasn't very interesting. Some of the other stuff in there was not very good. So I was like, fine, whatever. Issue six is coming out. Don't worry, you're going to get it. Um, then I canceled my subscription at this one comic store because uh, I just, it wasn't, easier from it wasn't easy for me to get there anymore uh from where i was working and stuff so i was like okay i'm gonna take it off my pull list uh but i'll still go in and get marvel comics presents number six on the day it comes out if i can since i'm in the area um i popped in and i was like oh that's right i canceled my subscription and uh, i missed the issue because it's sold out and i didn't anticipate that there were other dan catch fans out there everyone was buying it because of that dan catch is back in the saddle plus two more all new features look at that wolverine and deadpool are on this book and they're saying dan catch plus two <laughs> that's that's even marvel knowing what they're doing as far as uh hey look we're bringing back dan catch we know you guys wanted it here it is and uh, that's so exciting so i didn't get it so i ran around to a couple different comic stores and i found one near my house that i've been shopping at uh, you know uh, here and there um called uh, house secrets that you guys see me and i pop in there from time to time but now my new apartment it's like right right there like i live right near uh house of secrets and i could literally just you know it takes like a minute to get down there so uh I went in there and I said, hey, do you have a copy of this? And they said, we sold out, but tell you what, we'll, we'll try to track you one down. And they did, and now I have a first printing of Marvel Comics Present. So I'm so excited. So this is the beginning of the road uh, to Ghost Rider, to the return of Ghost Rider, Dan Ketch coming back. I think the book's called Beware the Ghost Rider, which is an amazing title. Um, and uh, and yeah, so this is his first book, and it, it shows him come back as the spirit of vengeance it shows him uh he and ed breeson wrote this one who also is going to be the writer of the upcoming series and he has dan catch owning a bar which i'm like this is great because i think in one of the supernatural seasons uh that one of the brothers went and worked at a bar for a while um you know in between seasons or something like that and uh, that bar popped up from time to time throughout the series and i i love that i'm like oh man this is just more things that make me feel connected to supernatural you know so uh so familiar ground and then of course like uh you know um 
I guess, Sam Winchester, uh, Dan catches out of the life. He doesn't want it anymore. And then he gets sucked back in and the spirit of vengeance takes him over again. And he has to go and deal with an enemy that he thought he killed way back in his original run. And they come back for one more story, uh, to set up where Dan is going to go from here on out, which I thought was done really well. So this was great. And then I found a second printing of it because obviously it sold out. So Marvel rushed to second printing and these were sitting, there were stacks of these at the store like a, like a month later. So I went ahead and grabbed one because I was like, you know what? It has Dan on the cover transforming into Ghost Rider. How amazing is that? And it says, we are needed. I was like, okay, I have to have it. <laughs> so I got the second printing of it also. Here's where we get into the road, the true road of Ghost Rider though. Um, those two first issues, those set everything up really well. But uh, this Punisher story starts to bring Dan back into the Marvel Universe. We talked about that in his original run, how Marvel was just like, we got to get him in Marvel books. We got to put him out there and, uh, and get people digging on him again. So they set this up. Uh, Rosenberg, who writes this, uh, he and Simon Kurdansky, I love his art from uh, Spawn and stuff. Uh, he's coming in and doing the art on this one. And uh, it's Frank Castle taking down the Kingpin, or not taking down the Kingpin, he's fighting... Um, Baron Zemo. I guess that's the the run because I haven't been following this run at all. Uh, but I guess he's after Baron Zemo and he wants to kill Baron Zemo. Uh, but Baron Zemo has made a deal with Kingpin to bring back the Thunderbolts to protect part of New York because Kingpin is now mayor of New York City. So so Punisher is like, all right, I got to go up against the Thunderbolts and I'm a little outgunned. So he starts putting together his own team. So this book or this issue doesn't have Ghost Rider in it, but this is part one of his story where he starts setting up that team. This is another interesting one. This also does not have Dan Ketch in it, but it does have Johnny Blaze in it. Johnny Blaze, as we know from the Damnation uh, storyline uh, that Donny Cates wrote, is uh, is now the king of hell. Johnny Blaze is now the king of hell. And uh, he, he dethroned Mephisto. But being the, the king of hell, he still has trials he's got to go through. And one of them, I guess, is he has to challenge uh, a fellow ghostwriter to a race. And so he chooses Robbie Reyes, and the two of them go on a race through hell, through their own memories, through their past. And it's it's interesting. They're they're intercutting it with like, you know, cosmic ghost rider fighting the main Avengers. I don't know. It's it Jason Aaron, I, I like him. I like his stuff sometimes, but I think sometimes he's a little unfocused. And uh even though these aren't bad issues, I'm just like I I find myself more obviously interested in the stuff happening in hell. And I kind of wish the run was just about that. But I guess he's like, hey, I can't abandon this main Avengers story. And I, and I guess he also wanted to bring in Cosmic Ghost Rider because, again, probably a mandate. You know, that's a popular character. That's a popular version of, of the character. So Marvel's probably like, hey, any chance in your Ghost Rider story you can fit, you know, Cosmic Ghost Rider in there? And I'm sure he'll his storyline, the Cosmic Ghost Rider, that will pay off in issue 25. It's not out yet. So, you know, so maybe I'm jumping the gun a little bit, but still, I'm not really digging this, but it is showing at least you know, a Johnny, Johnny blaze aside. So while Dan is on earth fighting things, uh, and being Ghost Rider again, you have Johnny blaze down here trying to, uh, fully, uh, you know, sit on the throne of hell. Um, so then again, we have uh, Kingpin and why uh, NYC says no to the Punisher. Uh, he's the mayor. So he's pushing, you know, his agendas and stuff and, you know, everything like that. So, um, again, no Ghost Rider in this issue, but I just got it because it was part two of the story. I wanted to read it. Uh, bring on the bad guys. It's a, a variant cover, uh, but uh, I think the other cover had like you know uh, Avengers Mountain on it or something like that. Uh, but uh, but this is more of the 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 race through hell and you know and kind of Robbie Reyes's role in it. And then at the end of this one, he meets all these other Ghost Riders, all the other Ghost Riders that have ever been like the the Ghost Rider BC, the one that was on the Woolly Mammoth. Um, he meets like all these different Ghost Riders, and so clearly they're setting something big up and it makes sense that Jason Aaron is kind of partly involved and maybe Donnie Cates cause Donnie Cates did ghost Rider stuff with damnation, Dr. Strange damnation. He set up stuff there. Then he did cosmic ghost Rider and Thanos. Those elements are now in Jason Aaron stuff. And Jason Aaron at one point wrote ghost Rider. He brought Danny catch back as the blue, you know, heaven ghost Rider. So it makes sense that these two are kind of collaborating on stuff and then setting up whatever Ed Breeson's going to be doing in his main series. So, so I like the collaboration for sure. And I like that. It's these three people who have all had a hand in ghost Rider stuff, uh, in recent years. I mean, Ed Breeson, not so much, but he's kind of the newer guy on the plate with the uh, ghost Rider stuff. But I, I'm liking, I love that Marvel comics presents issue. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else he does. Um, so this actually does have ghost Rider appear in it. It has, uh, a, a, you know, we had Frank Castle show up. He goes to a bar 
And he's like, hey, I don't need you. I need the other guy. And then he's like, what? He goes, do, do we know each other? And then he he's like, come on. And he like knocks Dan Ketch out. And then Dan Ketch wakes up in an alley and he's like, all right, dude, I don't know who he's like, I don't know who you are or whatever. He's like, or he's like, I guess you're the Punisher, but you know, I, whatever you want, it has nothing to do with me. And, and, and Punisher's like, yeah, I know. I want the other guy. And he goes, uh, a little birdie told me that you've been reactivated or whatever. And I'm like, well, where does Frank get his information from? Uh, but either way, he's like, well, uh, you know, Dan's like, well, it doesn't work that way. I need my motorcycle. I can't just turn into Ghost Rider. And then Punisher like looks over at his van and then Dan Ketch looks over at the van. He goes, wait a minute. He goes, my motorcycle's in your van, isn't it? And he goes, yeah, <laughs> he's like suit up. And, uh, and then Ghost Rider, uh, you know, he, Dan becomes Ghost Rider and they get into battle. So yeah, it's kind of fun. A little funny, you know, humor moment between them. Cause yeah, I mean, I think Dan remembers Punisher. They, they hint at it a little bit in the dialogue. I can't remember the dialogue completely, but I think he kind of understands what's going on, but he's just like, yeah, I don't know if you know how my power works. And, Punisher's like, yeah, of course I do. We've teamed up like numerous times. Uh, so that I thought that was fun. Um, and then, yeah, issue 24 of uh, Avengers here. This is also part of the road to Ghost Rider. This is Cosmic Ghost Rider versus the Avengers. And I don't know, there's some fun stuff in it. I, I the This Cosmic Ghost Rider, this Frank Castle thing, I thought it was a neat concept for the Thanos storyline, but to develop him further, I, I haven't really caught on. I've been reading, I read some of that miniseries that they did and then like the the one where he's like destroying the Marvel universe or something and I don't know it's just it's it's weird and wacky and they kind of deadpooly and I don't know in a way I, it's it's not working for me I'm not feeling it too much uh but uh but his design still looks cool I like his design and any version of Ghost Rider I'm going to talk about it and, and probably collect it so <laughs> I guess I guess I'm I'm helpless to that so um anyway but they fight in this one it's cool but then also the the race of Johnny Blaze and uh, Robbie Reyes really heats up, uh, no pun intended, or actually, you know what, screw it, puns allowed uh, and intended. And uh, and so there's they're concluding that storyline, but it doesn't end here. I guess it's going to end in issue 25, uh, which is not out yet because this just came out this week. So we'll find out what happens. Uh, right now, Johnny Blaze is winning the race, and Robbie Reyes uh, was confronted by his family, who he found out his mom and dad, I guess his mom and dad, are in hell and he is not a fan of that, obviously. So I think there's going to be some cool twists coming up uh, in this storyline. Uh, if you really what Robbie Ray should do is go find Dr. Doom, because Dr. Doom pulled his own mother out of hell. So maybe he could uh, <laughs> persuade Dr. Doom to help him get his parents out. I don't know how he will, but maybe it, maybe Dr. Doom will sympathize with it. He's like, oh, your mom and dad are in hell? Okay, I know what that's like, kid. Uh, give me one good reason why I should go save them. And then maybe you know, Robbie Ray has convinced them. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, what I'm saying is more Ghost Rider and Doom combination. Come on, give me that. Uh, and then we have Punisher 15 here. So this is the team they put together, Night Thrasher, Moon Knight, Black Widow, and Ghost Rider. When I first saw this cover, I was thinking the Ghost Rider might be Alejandra. Um, I, I couldn't really tell from that design, uh, you know, where, if there was any shapes on the character, if it was male or female, I couldn't really tell. So I was wondering, oh man, is this Alejandra coming back? So I, I got excited for it for that reason, but then I found out, oh wow, it's actually Dan Ketch. Uh, I was not expecting that. So while the race in hell is going on with Johnny Blaze and Robbie Reyes, you have Dan Ketch here on earth, you know, trying to help out and, uh, and, and, not, and begrudgingly helping out because he doesn't really want to be back into the fold like this. But, uh, you know, rarely do we get what we want in life, right? Especially in comics. Rarely do heroes and, and stuff get what they want. So, uh, so yeah, but this is fun because there's some great banter between, like, Moon Knight and Ghost Rider and also with uh, Punisher and Night Thrasher. Um, and there's also some good banter between Punisher and Moon Knight. But I like the relationship between, uh, you know, um, Black Widow and Punisher here. She's been in the shadows helping him this whole time. And Punisher is getting old and he's like, he's, he's not as sharp as he used to be. And so there's some fun stuff going on here. This is post him being like a war machine. So, uh, it, it's kind of fun reading some of this. Like I was like, oh, wow, I haven't kept up with Punisher books too much, but these four issues have been pretty neat so far. So maybe I'll keep reading it if I can. Um, and then last, uh, the last book before the road to Ghost Rider, Beware of Ghost Rider number one coming out two days. Like I said, this is Absolute Carnage Symbiote of Vengeance. And this is written by Ed Breeson. And this does have Alejandra in it. Um, as you can see here, there she is. And Dan Ketch coming to try to help her. And we all know how badly that goes, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, we're talking about Dan. He's He wants to get, he doesn't want to get back in the fold. It shows when he does get pulled in, he's in over his head and he loses somebody. Uh, Alejandra in this issue does get taken out by Carnage. Uh, obviously, she, she kind of had to because Carnage does... This is before he gets to New York, and by the time he gets to New York, he's already strong enough to defeat most of them. It's like Thanos getting the Infinity Gauntlets. After he gets like two of them, he's already too strong to fight for the most part. Um, so 
that's what carnage is at this point you know you're like all right well if he's that strong in new york he probably kills alejandra so it was pretty the writing was on the wall but uh, alejandra is not gone for good where she ends up in this book it does play into what's happening in the avengers book down in hell where all the other ghost writers are uniting um and meeting up so uh, and then johnny blaze obviously does play a part in this book too so this is great so if you have all of these this will lead you up to the return of dan ketch when he uh, officially makes his return with Beware the Ghost Rider number one. I think the book is still called that. Um, and that comes out on Wednesday and two days from now as a filming this. But I'm going to try to post these up as soon as possible. Maybe this will be going up on Wednesday. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I'll try to get this up ASAP so you know what books, if you really like Ghost Rider number one, go out there and try to track these issues down. These are other stories with Dan catching them and, I, and, and some with Johnny Blaze, but it'll help set up you know, that, uh, road to, you know, to that issue number one. And, uh, some of these are written by Ed Breeson. So obviously these are like issue zeros in a way. They're kind of like, you know, back door pilots, if you want to call them that. Uh, but also be sure to pick up Dr. Strange Damnation, the hardcover, whether you get it in digital form or physical form, find that because if you read that and then these, you'll be pretty much caught up on everything they've been doing with Ghost Rider at Marvel Comics over the past, like, you know, couple years, like three or four years. So I highly recommend picking that up as well. Thank you so much for watching the show as always. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. We'll continue our conversation down there and we'll definitely have more Ghost Rider stuff coming up. I'll do another like, you know, year worth of books. I'll try to get another one up in a week or two. And then uh, after that, the piles will get smaller and smaller. So it'll get easier and easier for me to do them at that point. Because I'm right now I'm trying to put them all in order and get everything situated. So uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'll promise I'll get more Ghost Rider stuff to you guys. And obviously when Ghost Rider number one comes out, uh, we will talk about that. And we'll also talk about uh, the series that could have been. I guess there was a Hulu show that was going to pop up for Robbie Reyes and that got canceled. So maybe I'll do a Ghost Rider news episode coming up as well. But we'll get into issue number one first. We'll review that first and then we'll go back and talk about everything regarding that. So thank you so much again for always watching the show. I appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.